<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, this can't make you nervous. Who, who am I looking at here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me to start. <laughs> okay. We good? Ingrid Lindblad. Yes. Six under <laughs> 65, which is the lowest 18 hole score by an amateur at the U.S. Women's Open. What was working for you out there? Obviously a lot. Well, I th hit a few shots close to the pin, and then my putting was great today. Made a few par saves and made a few putts for birdies, and it just it worked from <laughs> fairway to green. What about pine needles fits your eye? I think I thought, like, the course would be a little bit more narrow. I missed a few tee shots today that I thought would be a little bit more off, but then I get to the ball, and I'm like, oh, it's fine. So, and... The green, the green areas are tough. Like I, you had to hit the right, the right section of like the green to not run off the slopes and everything. But I think it's a great, it's a great use open course. Over here to your left, hey, Ingrid. Just what did it mean to you to be in the same group with Annika, and just how much did you look? Do you look up to her as you know, uh, one of the greatest ever? I played her first event in 2014. I played like a junior AM for the Annika Invitational Europe, and then the next year I played Annika Cup. Um, which is like a junior event in Sweden. And then, so I played her tournaments since like 2014. And then when I saw that I'm playing with her, I was like in shock. <laughs> I was like, this cannot be true. Uh, and then on the first tee box, I get her scorecard. And I'm like, I have Annika's scorecard in my hands. <laughs> but it was really cool. We had fun out there. She fist pumped me for a few birdies and it was fun. How much momentum did you feel you had coming into this tournament after the SEC championship and winning the individual title too? I mean, I played, I played really good at SECs, and then at Nationals, I didn't really get anything to drop. It's just, I hit it good, but I didn't make any putts. I feel like that was the difference from, you know, one or two weeks ago to today, and I, I just had fun out there. Far left. Uh, Ingrid, congratulations on a, a great round. Um, Thank I'm you. I'm just, uh, just curious, um, you know, the prize money here for is uh, $1.8 million <laughs> to win. Is there any regrets that maybe you didn't turn pro a few hours ago? <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm going to stay in college for like another year or so. So, well, w when you say it, yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it would have been fun with a little bit of money, but I think I'm going to stay in college for a little bit more. <laughs> it's going to be an expensive year then. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Beth Ann? Were you able to look at leaderboards out there? Did you? On yeah. Purpose? Um, I think I saw the first one on the part three. It's like 13. And I saw, I was one under, and then I made my putt, and I was like, oh, I'm two under. And I, I don't think I was tied for lead. I was, like, tied for third or second or something. But it's kind of hard to, like, not look at them because they're pretty big. <laughs> um, but, and then I didn't see, like, anything on the back nine. I think I saw one. Um, and then I saw they put out, like, shots gained and stuff as well. And I was like, whoa. I'm in the top there. <laughs> okay. uh, go ahead, Ron. Can you describe the first time you met Annika? Oh, my God. Um, see, I probably met her when I played that Junior Am in 2014, but I, I didn't really know, like, exactly who she was. And then the first time was probably when I played the Annika Cup in 2015, and we kind of got to hit some short game shots with her. And that was probably the first time, like, I really met her. You were you were eight years old when Annika retired. How, how aware were you? <laughs> yeah, how aware were you of what she had accomplished as you were growing up? Um, that's a very good question. I don't think I, I don't think I knew how good she was. You know, I knew like the name, but I didn't play, start playing like competitive until I was fourteen. Yeah. So then I, I kind of realized that oh, you know, she's she was a great player. And she's still she's still a great player. Uh, far right. Mm -hmm. Ingrid, uh, a lot of people will be learning your name for the first time uh, today. I know great golfer is the headline, but what else <laughs> should people know about you? What other hobbies or anything like that are you interested in? <laughs> well, I like to do puzzles. <laughs> I love puzzles. Jigsaw? Um, um, yeah, like at least a thousand pieces. Okay. <laughs> um, puzzles, I like because it's like it's a great distraction. Like I just get in the zone when I do puzzles. I like to watch TV shows too. Um, if no one knows it, my nickname in the U.S. is Iggy. <laughs> Don't really know how I got it, but. <laughs> There's no story there? Uh, no. Okay. 
<laughs> Just easier to say than Ingrid. <laughs> Got it. Are you aware of the history of amateurs in this championship that, that only one has ever won? Yeah, they said I was at the amateur reception the other day and they said that they said that just one amateur has won it. And then I know Mega played really good last year. And then I know Maya, also from Sweden, has played really good like two years in a row. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's possible. <laughs> How did you and Sophie end up? Being, how did she end up being your caddy? I didn't have a caddy, and then Patrick, our coach for the Nashville team, he he texted her and asked her if she was avail available. Um, mm. So, I didn't really know her like before this. Did you Google her? Um, I think I like I looked at her Instagram, but um. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, she's won a couple of times on tour. <laughs> Thank you. All right, thanks, Ingrid. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.